All right, everybody. Hello there, and welcome to another live stream of awesomeness. Today, I'm going to be playing the adorable game that is Animal Crossing. It is super cute. Look, this is me. I'm on my island right now. So, for anybody who is unfamiliar with Animal Crossing, this first came about in the, um, the era of... Um, what's it called? Um, oh my god, GameCube. So it's it's been around for quite a while and there has been some iteration of this on essentially every single Nintendo console, including handhelds. Um, so it's, it's pretty impressive. And for anybody who has not seen the hype, the hype is real for this game. Like it was released just as quarantine was hitting a lot of the world. So, a ton of people have just latched onto it intensely and just started playing it. Um, what is this? Mathe Win subscribe! Yay, Mathe Win! Hooray! I'm crossbreeding animals for fun and profit. Wrong kind of Animal Crossing! It's wrong kind. Uh, but the, I mean, fundamentally the idea of the game is that you just sort of live on this island in, in this particular case. So this is New Horizons on the Switch. Um, the, the idea is that you've got, um, you, you've got all of your, um, different stuff that you can collect. You're on this island, you're decorating it, inviting new folks to come and live with you, all of this kind of thing. So like, see, this is Zucker. Zucker is a cute little, uh, octopus bro dude. And um, he actually works like part time as a cook, and he's meant to look like sushi. Is super dorms. And the, and so today, um, because it's June first, it represents the start of summer. So we've got new bugs, new fish, and all sorts of fun stuff like that. I have a pineapple shirt and a fun hat because it, it's it is the time. And look, I got a shark. I put it in the thing so that it'll be safe. And now I go and put it in my pocket. Because that's what you can do with sharks in this game. You just put them in your pocket. Because it makes sense. Look, that is Blue Bear. Blue Bear is super adorable. I like Blue Bear. So there, there is like legitimately massive... Um, um, like markets to get specific villagers, to get particular items, to set things up. It's, it's just insane. It's absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, it, it's totally awesome. And it's, uh, it's, it's just really taken the world by storm is kind of like a fun, adorable little game. Um, and that's why I always said whenever I was playing, uh, what's it called? Stardew Valley. I always said that it's very reminiscent of Animal Crossing and um, and Harvest Moon, and so this is the OG. Um, the nice thing is that in this particular game, they actually did a really great job of including um, multiplayer in it, so you can go and visit other people's islands and stuff like that. Um, and of course, your island is able to advance, you make things better, and all of that kind of stuff. So it's pretty sweet. Um, right now I have a, I have a full island. I have all of my villagers. Um, I, I finally got lilies. I haven't had lilies for a long time. I'll take you guys on a tour of my island a little bit later. Uh, first I do want to talk to Sahara. So Sahara here, um, is in part how you get walls, uh, wallpaper and flooring, um, as well as rugs for your, um, for your house. So this is like one of the main ways that you can do it. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty awesome. And uh, and it's really nice because you can you can go through and you can share things with other people and all that kind of stuff too. It's just there is a lot lot of stuff going on with this game basically. Um, so what I'll probably do is I'll take you guys on a tour of um, everything just really quickly um, And then um, I'll, I'll go and probably do some fishing. There's also a couple of other little things I wanted to do um, I did play this very very briefly on Saturday as well um, if, if anybody doesn't remember 
But um, yeah, basically we'll go and we'll explore um, the island a little bit. I'll show you guys the, the housing units where all of my villagers are. We'll go through my gardens that I've made. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll go to my house as well. Because uh, I've, I've moved my house. One of the neat things that you can do in this game is you're able to at least eventually move stuff around relatively freely. So it's pretty sweet. Oh, shoot. No! I want a different one. Dang it! Ooh, fun terraforming. Yeah, so um, it, in this game, eventually you unlock terraforming, which, which allows you to physically shape the land, at least to an extent. Um, so you're able to make paths and like little ponds and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, I've done a decent amount of that. Um, it's, it's how I got a lot of my garden and stuff set up. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's pretty good. All right, so let's go with, I will go with Mysterious Wallpaper for this. So I'm not really explaining who Sahara is. So in this game, you've got several visitors that come to your island regularly. Um, it's random um, who shows up and when, but essentially you've got um, this guy or this woman is a, um, it deals in wallpaper and rugs and carpeting. Um, and then we also have somebody who deals in plants of various sorts. We've got an art dealer. We've got uh, two people who buy fish and bugs, respectively, um, so that we can see that. Oh, is Sahara a guy? I thought Sahara was a girl. Um, either way, so that was Sahara, uh, and that's what she does. Uh, you can see on my little map where at least most of my stuff is. I'm super excited because I've got a, a new villager who's going to be coming in. Um, so this is Nook's Cranny. This is basically the store. Uh, where you can go and visit everybody. Oh, also, Rev, I have a director's chair if you need it for your um, for your TV setup. Mossy Garden. Ooh, Sea View. I bet that one's pretty nice. I'm down for that. What's the highway for me? <laughs> Great. Make everything look like a highway. Uh, this is the Able Sisters, so that's where you can get new new threads. They're fantabulous. Um, so around here, um, this is basically where I have all of my housing. You can get a total of 10 villagers. Um, I do have all 10 right now, but I'm, I'm going to be swapping out one of them um, today. Uh, and I'll show you guys how that works at least a little bit. Uh, but you can see I basically have a couple of rows of houses here uh, where everybody is sort of hanging out. So that's sort of the, um, the housing area. Up here is the campsite. This is where anybody who's new is um, is coming to uh, coming to go or coming in um, to try to move in. So I'm super excited because this little bunny right here is Doc. Doc is a computer programmer, and so I am super excited. I can't wait to have him move in. It's gonna be awesome. But basically, in order to get him to move in, I have to make a specific item. So we're gonna do that. And, and that way I'll be able to convince him to go in. So I actually got him to move in with an amiibo. Uh, one of the, the little amiibo doodads. So it's super exciting. Totally adorable. All right, so up here, this is sort of where I have Stumpsville. Um, the reason that I left a bunch of stumps here is because um, there are certain bugs that only appear on stumps. So it's a nice way for, uh, for them to show up. Uh, one of the other interesting things is that it's raining right now, and because it's raining, you can catch specific types of fish. So some fish will only show up when it's raining, um, and they also show up only at particular times of the day as well. So like, see, that's a, that's a pretty big fish right there. So we'll go and we'll do a little bit of fishing here. Nope. Got a, fish are stupid in this game. You really got to put the bait right in front of them. Yeah, sea bass! Oh, two star island! Go, Timmy, Tommy, Tony! What, what? So, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Oh, look! So, you, you may be able to see there's a little fin on top of that, on top of that silhouette. That little fin means that it's a shark or some, something. I got a sucker fish earlier. So, we'll see if this is actually a shark. Nice! Saw shark! 
We'll go to the museum later. I have a random oil barrel here. I, I'm not certain exactly what I'm going to do with this um, area, but it's it's going to be probably like a little campsite of some sort. One of the big things that this game ends up having you do is um, it basically comes down to you do whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's your island. It's your stuff to, to pick. I'm going to catch that. Come here, little hermit crab. So yeah, it's it's pretty sweet. You got an S rank from the from the home thing. I I'm stuck at a B rank. I honestly don't know how to get my my rank to be substantially higher. Uh, now I will say one thing I'm hoping for from these uh, larger fish silhouettes is that in uh, while it's raining all day all year long. You can uh, you can catch the coelacanth, which is very famously uh, basically just the big giant fish that you can get. So this is Dina. Dina is super cute. This is a little duck. Dean gave me a parka. So uh, Dina was one of my first villagers, and you may have noticed that she called me Chief. That's because that's the nickname that uh, I think she was the one who actually gave it to me. All right, on with the tour. So this is my garden area. So you can see we've got our little bamboo forest over here. And then I'm growing all sorts of different flowers. So one of the coolest thing that I really, really love about this game is how they do the flowers. Because the flowers in this game have actual, very similar to real world genetics in them. Where you've got specific genes and so you can cross them to make hybrids of different colors and all sorts of different stuff. So the way that I've set this up is sort of the main area of the gardens over here are just kind of a random whatevers uh, as far as flowers are concerned. And then over here, I'm sort of sticking with um, trying to um, enable very specific crosses of flower colors and types. So that's why I've only got uh, one or two next to each other. So like this little dude right here that's budding up is a cross between these two. At least it most likely is. Um, so one of the things is that to get hybrids, it works better if you have friends come over and water your plants for you. Uh, but yeah, that's a, it's kind of a big thing. So what I'll be doing in the near future is basically expanding out my little gardens with the terraforming because I'm running out of space and I've got a bunch of lilies that I need to plant. So now we will continue the, uh, we'll continue the tour a little bit here. Um, you may notice that I've got rocks with little fencings around them. Um, I can show you what those are for a little bit later. Uh, but up over here, this is where my house is. So you can see this is where some of my hybrid flowers come to just sort of hang out, is, uh, is right by my house. So these stairs lead up to my hizzle. And so I got my outdoor cookery complete with my Gojira statue. He helps me with the cooking, especially pizzas. He loves making pizzas with me. It's quite adorable. So this is my house right here. Um, I do have the fully upgraded house for anybody who's wondering. So I've got two side rooms, the back room, basement, and attic. Um, everything is a little bit sparse right now. Um, I, I have yet to actually come up with themes for most of my rooms. Uh, but you can see over here, I've got like a nice little couch so I can watch TV. It's very exciting. Uh, back here, I've got my workout space. So I believe that they are lion statues, escape artists. I'll, I'll have to look. Uh, so th this is my workout space. And see, you can you can actually punch the speed bag and the heavy bag over here. Eh, 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 eh. Beefcake. Brr. Brr. And the best part is when you lie down on the bench to do your bench presses, you immediately go to sleep. And so also known as regular Danny workouts. Um, don't ask why there's an Easter Island head in here because I honestly don't remember the point of me putting it in here. I think I just thought it looked cool. Um, but yeah, I truly do not exactly remember. Uh, so let me see just real quick while I've got, while I'm thinking about it, let me look up the, uh, the statues because they were, um, they were custom statues. I, I crafted them. They must be in housewares. There you go. Lion dog is the, the name of the thing. The stone lion dog. All right. 
Uh, so you, you may notice I got some fish over here. You'll see why in, uh, in just a little bit. Um, and over here I have like my bedroom slash little workspace thing. Um, so it's, it's not too much right now, but I do have a race car bed. So all of the ladies will be super jealous coming up in here. Look at that. The headlights come on whenever you get into bed. So it's pretty sweet. Uh, but yeah, I'm just trying to decorate this as just like a little room. Um, over here in the in the main room, I'm probably going to turn it into like a, a pretty typical living room space of some sort. Uh, one thing that I need to do is move all the stuff into storage. So a lot of this game sort of hinges on the idea of you're just collecting a bunch of random stuff. Um, there, there are a ridiculous number of items that you can get in this game. And I have a very, very, very small number of them. So I'm, I'm always excited to, to find new stuff, but you can see in my storage thing, one of the, uh, one of the main reasons that I got the, the bigger house is because it increases your storage capacity. So you can see, I just have a whole bunch of sort of random things stored. Lots and lots of just stuff. Most of it's clothes and accessories of various sorts, but then I've got a bunch of, um, a bunch of crafting materials as well. Uh, so over here, this is a room that I'm actually fairly proud of. It's very exciting. I keep it six. <laughs> uh, so this is my music room right here. So I'm actually fairly proud of my collection of musical accoutrements that I managed to get. Um, and like everything actually makes noise when you hit it. So it's kind of cool. The pedal board doesn't do anything. But pretty much everything else does. Oh wait, tambourine, are you guys ready? And you can actually, uh, you can collect songs from uh, K.K. Slider. He is, uh, he's one of the characters in the game and he'll come by um, after you reach a certain point. He starts coming by and giving, uh, giving concerts to you. Um, and you can collect the songs that, that he gives. So I'm pretty proud of that room just in terms of it's an actual good theme. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so now, as to why I have random fish in my living room, the reason is upstairs. Because currently the upstairs is my fish storage. <laughs> so this is my fish storage. <laughs> so, such that it is. And yes, yes it did say Comrade KK. It did indeed. Um, so I have a bunch of fish stored up here because I, um, I'm waiting for CJ, the fish buyer, to come over and buy all these fish. Um, I don't know how much longer I'll have to wait, but um, eventually, hopefully, he'll come by and we'll be able to do something. Yes, I know I can store fish in house storage, but I think it's cool to, to just have them sort of sit around here too. I also have my turnips here. So turnips are kind of an interesting thing where um, you, you have the stock market, S-T-A-L-K market. Um, and so you buy them on Sunday and then sometime during the week you can sell them off to try and make a, make money. But yeah, I, I, I know I've, uh, you can put stuff into storage. Like I can put the soft stark into storage, but it's way less fun. Whatever. No, that's not why it's not above a B. Anyway, after, um, after I get all that taken care of, I'm probably going to end up going with a, um, going with a, a cooking theme upstairs in the attic. Uh, meanwhile, in the basement, we have all of my science. So actually, in order to do my proper science, I need to get dressed. So here, let me grab my wand. Because science. So now we are ready to science. All right, there we go. Yay, science. So this is like all the various science stuff that I have collected again from various folks and, and places and people. Um, I've also built some of it myself too, but yeah, if anybody has cool science stuff, I would love to have it. I really need more of these tables. I've only got two of them. You can see I'm 
hold in my very dangerous chemicals just in the middle of the floor. Um, but yeah, I, oh yeah, I love these walls. The walls are super cool. Actually, one that reminds me, one thing I want to do is I want to move these down a little bit if I can. Yeah. So they're easier to see. So these little plaques you get from doing something at the museum, I'll show you guys that a little bit later. Um, so basically I've got that wall and then I've got another wall that I just made, which is this one. So this is the sci-fi wall. Like it's obviously it's, it's more space rather than strictly science. Um, whereas the other one that I had is literally called laboratory wall. So it works kind of nicely for that. But, uh, I mean, that's, that's why I mentioned there's just a crazy amount of stuff to get, find, collect. You can make whatever you want, however you want, all that kind of stuff. It's super cool. Um, incidentally, the, um, one of the uh, wallpapers that I have, it's not on this wall anymore, but I've got um, like a, a star wall. I don't know why I came up here to show you guys. But this one right here. So this is one that I made. Oh wait, nope, not that one. Where is it? This one. Uh, so some of the some of the walls are animated. Um, you may have seen that with the uh, the space wall. Uh, so this is the starry sky wall, and it's really neat because when you shut the lights off, it glows. It's kind of cool. It's just a, a neat little thing um, to do. So yeah. But there, there's a bunch of stuff that I'm, I'm trying to get for my, um, uh, for my little laboratory, my downstairs lab. Um, so yes, that is one of the things that I want is there, there is a whiteboard and a chalkboard for math specifically. I have the one that's like a schedule. So it's like, pfft, doesn't really count. Um, but yeah, so that's, so that's my, my house over here. Um, you can see there, there's a decent amount of space. I believe all of the islands are the same size, if memory serves. But uh, once you, again, once you get to the point where you can do terraforming, then you can do pretty much anything that you want. You can rearrange stuff however you want. It just takes a very long time to do. Um, terraforming is a slow process. But you can, um, you can make some really neat stuff happen. So a couple of quick things that we need to do. First, we will head to the museum because I need to donate some stuff as well as um, show you guys some things. Oh, here's a cool thing that I can show you. This little spot is a money spot. You get one of these every day. When you dig it up, then it has a thousand bells. So bells are the, the currency of the game. And you can bury bells as well. You can bury up to 10,000 bells and then several days later, you will have a tree that has bells on it. So you may have seen all over the place where I've got the, um, the little money symbol in front of trees. That's because those, those are trees that I have planted for this purpose and with this same process. So that way I make sure I don't cut them down before I get the, the money off of them, essentially. It's pretty nifty. Um, but that's that, so let's check out the museum. So now we get to go and visit Blathers, one of my favorite characters. Blathers is the owl who runs the museum. He's super cool. Sup, Blathers? How you doing? Uh, every day you get little uh, fossil spots where it's, a, it's like an X on the ground um, that you can dig up and you get fossils from it. So I've already, um, I've already done mine. Um, and basically he will assess them to tell you what they are. And then you can, um, if you want, you can donate them to the museum so that you can um, expand what all is in here. So like right now, I'll be able to get in the saw shark, the great white, and this parasaur skull. So basically he takes bugs, fish, art, and fossils. Those are the four categories of things that he takes. Um, and I remember last time I played this, so on Saturday, um, I, I ran through some of this stuff really quickly. Um, and honestly, the museum is my absolute favorite part of this entire game. Like, I know it sounds super stupid, nerdy, ridiculous, 
all of that stuff. But truly, I adore the museum. I love how it's organized. I love how it looks. I love the, the way that they've set everything up. It is just beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. And so I'm super excited um, whenever I wander around in it because you can see all of the awesome dinosaurs and stuff. You can see what parts you're missing as well. So like you can see, I've got a full stegosaurus over there. Um, I can, you can see I'm missing a skull there, missing a torso here, uh, missing another torso right here as well. But yeah, and then over here we've got the impact crater, um, the scale impact crater um, that killed off the dinosaurs. So here we can do this. Doesn't actually do anything, but it's still awesome. Uh, and then in the next room, you, you have sort of the continuation of evolution, which is really hilarious because they do it based off of the different characters in the game or the types of characters. So like you have cats and dogs, you've got kangaroos, you've got cows, you've got deer, you've got monkeys, you've got mice, all of these kinds of things. So you can see you've got mammals up over here. And as you go more and more this way, you start to see things that are more bird like that. That's a bird right there. You see more reptiles. There's a kangaroo. Um, so you start to see basically the, um, oh my God, what is it? Um, oh, shoot. Don't tell me. Not deuterostome. Dang it! I, 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 I'll remember at some point that there's there. It's a there's a, a fundamental shift with marsupials. God dang it! I cannot remember the taxonomy right now. Yeah, I. So my my former boss would be very disappointed in me because I um, when I was doing my graduate work, I was in an evolution and spermatogenesis lab. So pretty much everybody in the lab knew at least a little bit about this type of stuff. But yeah, it's just, it's so, so cool. Um, so we'll, we'll go and we'll take a look at the fish exhibit real quick as well. Um, actually, no, we'll take a look at the art. Um, I didn't get a chance to show the art exhibit last time. It's just so cool. And I do apologize. I know like I'm, I'm all super excited. I feel like um, you know, like a, a little kid who gets, um, you know, like their, their favorite relative coming to visit. It's like, come on, show! I want, to, I want you to see my room! That's kind of how I feel right now, so I do apologize. But I am super legit excited about it. Um, so my art section is very, very sparse. Uh, because the, the guy who sells the art only comes in uh, sporadically. And honestly, it's part of why I moved my house. Because... Now my house is right next to where that guy shows up, so I'll be able to see when he comes by. It's um, it, it's at least something. So you can see I've got I've got a few paintings, um, and it's it's really it's really neat. I love that um, the the way that they they portray the statues and art in the game is they have it as sort of a generalized title, right? So for example, this one you. Uh, you all have probably seen at some point, I imagine. Um, but if we go over here to the little card for it, you can see it's called Solemn Painting. So if you buy it, if you, if you get it from the art dealer, it is called Solemn Painting. But here we can see that it's actually called Las Meninas. And that is what the actual painting is called. And it's just like... It is so, so cool. I just, God, I, I love it. I just love the, the way that this game portrays all of the stuff that you can get and collect and show in this game. It is really, really incredible. Um, that said, when it comes to the art, at least, you do have to be careful because there are fakes. And so you have to make sure that you, um, that when you're buying stuff, you buy the real deal. So, you saw the, the real Las Meninas? Oh, so cool. I'm so excited I'm spilling water on me. Oh my god. Ugh. And I think Animal Crossing is, is really unique in that aspect. You get it to an extent in Stardew Valley where you do have, like, you know, actual fish and stuff that you're getting, but you learn slightly less about things so like for example for me right i am a geneticist i could literally teach a genetics class based off of 
flowers in this game. And that is just the coolest thing. Like, it is legitimately amazing in my eyes. I just find it so, so awesome. Not to mention, you can, you can get, oh shoot, you can get people to think about stuff like, um, what's it called? Stuff like, um, city planning or, um, architecture and why things are designed this way versus that way and all of that kind of stuff. Not to mention being able to survive on your own, at least to an extent. Wait, Rev was right? What was Rev right about? Gah, son of a biscuit. Oh, that's exciting. All right, good night, Tiny. Be good. Ah, stupid thing. You gotta wait for the little bobber to go down, Danny. Gah. Stupid hermit crab. Thinks it's so cool. Incidentally, if anybody wants, um, I, I've got my, my official like Hawaiian shirt stuff in, um, in my Able Sisters right now. Uh, but yeah, like at, at this point now, I'm... Um, oh, so here, let me show you guys some of my other outfits. I've got DJ Polymerase. So this is my of official musical persona. Um, if, uh, I, th I think I explained why I'm called DJ Polymerase, but I won't bore you guys with my science nerdiness again. Um, I have my cycling one because I ride my bike all the time, or I used to before, you know, we all had to stay home all the time, like by rule. Um, I've also got my steampunk outfit because you got to be steampunk. I do need goggles though. I need the official steampunk goggles. Ooh, desk. We can do desk too. Let me put on my goofy outfit first. There, see, there's my goofy outfit. Um, I don't have anything that's really cool. Oh, I can show this little bear. This is a little bear. So this little bear was given to me by my wife's daughter. And, and she made it herself. She actually sewed through it. It's like a sewing practice bear. And it's super cute. And it's toast doors. And then it's bear. He's very bored. An electrical outfit. That I don't know. Maybe. Um, so here's my nearsighted samurai. So called because he has to wear glasses. Um, incidentally, I don't have the right color greaves, but I don't particularly mind because I was happy just to get samurai greaves. I had been looking for them for a while. Uh, and then I also have my verse snazzy outfit, which is simply me looking fancy. Oh, thank you very much, The Matter. Thank you. I appreciate it. It has been an exciting and wild ride. Let's go fishing. Wait for it. Oh, ho, ho. I got a squid! I will say that the the puns get old very, very fast. <laughs> Especially when you're looking for, like, coelacanth. Uh, because you constantly end up getting sea bass. And it's like, oh, more like a C plus. <laughs> so, no. Just no. So these are the nooklings. Um, for anybody who is unfamiliar with the story of what's going on with this... Um, Tom Nook is the character who runs basically the whole shebang. Um, it's, it's his company that has provided the everything for this island. And these are his sons. And so they're running, you know, just like this, this little side business, essentially. But, yeah, I mean, the, it's, the nice thing is that the, the puns, they're... I mean, they're bad puns, obviously, because they're puns, so of course they're bad. But at the same time, I, I'm okay with them. Like, I, I can deal, you know? Oh, there is nephews. That's what it was. Either way. And that, that is true. They are Tanuki. They are not trash pandas, as, as, we, uh, as we know here in the U.S. Let's see, there's the pineapple shirt that I got. I, I got the I got the other one. I didn't get the blue one. 
Uh, so, okay, so there's a couple things I need to do. I need to go back to my house because I need to get to my storage space. Aw, Hedwig. Ah, weeds! Weeds count against you in all of the stuff. Oh, for, for me, it's number one. It's, it's my first. So, yeah, very exciting stuff. But that's a long story. We won't get into it. What is my name? I got something from mom. Aww. Admiral. So Admiral is one of my characters. Very cool. That's so awesome. And you guys are totes dorbs together. Aw, handmade apron! Gym tea? Yes, my lighthouse! I forgot I bought a lighthouse. <laughs> Marriage is what brings us together today. Y'all telling me that I can store fish. See, look, I know I can store fish in storage. I've got some ore fish in here. All right, I need iron nuggets. I also need stone. What else? So I, I mentioned earlier that Doc, the uh, the character that I got with the amiibo, he requires me to make him something, and he wants a sauna heater. So I need wood is the other thing in order to do that. All right. So now I can make my stuff. Incidentally, if anybody has any questions as I'm just sort of running through all this stuff, please let me know because I know there is a lot going on with it. But, yeah. Alright, so now what we can do is we can make this sauna heater. And this is basically just to appease Doc. <laughs> what is the meaning of life? Well, there are some questions I can't answer. I meant questions about the game. I do have a tree stump in my house. It's my, it, it's my workbench, though, so it's okay. It's not a tree stump so much as a, a useful implementation of ingenuity and general awesomeness it's more of what it is so i gotta talk to sahara i also need to talk to doc i guess i could have kept going that way for doc but i will talk to sahara first because i've got the coupons I need to get the Sahara special flooring now if I can. Uh oh, the Sahara still here? Oh, uh, so that big line of flowers that I got, that's another um, sort of final place for um, flowers that I have. Um, so basically by my house and right, uh, right around the little community center thing is where I um, place flowers when I, um, uh, when I essentially don't particularly care how they breed. Yes. All right, mysterious flooring. <laughs> now, to be fair, 42 is not the meaning of life. 42 is the ultimate answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything. And then the problem is you have to figure out what the question is because nobody actually knew what the question was, but that's neither here nor there. It just sort of is. So it's a slightly different thing. 
And, and of course, that's the problem. You know, when you build a computer that's capable of calculating the ultimate answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything, you would expect it, of course, to take many, many, many billions of years and whatnot. But, you know, eventually you're going to have to figure out what the question was that you were answering. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Oh, Marble Dots tea! <laughs> to hear the screams of the knees and lamentations of the women. That's terrible. Wait. Why not live here? Dang it! Bug face. <laughs> Potato chips, tomato chips, pickle chips, shrimp chip, chocolate chips, spicy chips. <laughs> oh no, he doesn't have TV! What's he gonna do? Dang it, man! I want you to live here! Oh, see, there's his distressed face. So, I'm fairly certain the problem here is the fact that my island is full. I have all ten characters here. And it's really frustrating because I didn't realize that I would run into this issue. Um, what ends up happening um, throughout the game is eventually you're able to sort of assign these plots. You buy the plots. And then the problem is that you can't necessarily control who moves in. It's not up to you entirely uh, because basically what you can do is you can sort of say like, oh, I don't want this person or this person or this person. But then eventually somebody random just moves in. And I don't like that. So I'm there. there's a couple of people that I'm, I'm like actively trying to get rid of. Uh, Bones is not one of them though. We're, we're going to go and we're, we're going to go and visit him um oh he's sleeping Shh. we'll head back out he's very tired Shh. that's bones he's super cute he's a doggo um I think that you can have all different personalities, escape artist, uh, because I believe that there's a total of ten personalities. I think it's five boys and five girls, um, and so they they've got five different personalities. Incidentally, I gave him that shirt. To be fair, though, he gave it to me first, and then I just regifted it. I did indeed bury a bunch of bells yesterday. <laughs> oh, bud, he's one of my original people. Um, I would have to look it up about the personalities, though, because I honestly don't remember. Um, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if there is, if there is some required overlap. Sup, Admiral? I am looking casual. But yeah, all of the um, all of the characters have a um, have a, a unique look to their home that they have. So this lion right here, this guy, I want him gone. I don't really like him. Um, he's like a beefcake dude, but I've already got a beefcake dude, and I don't really like his house. I don't like his personality. I'm just not a fan. I'm waiting for him to leave. The problem is that there's not a really, truly guaranteed way to make him leave. This is Jacques. He's cool. I like his song.
Poncho, nice. Poncho is cute. I don't remember whose house this is. I think it's Mira. It is! This is my Lucha Libre bunny. Well, I guess Power Ranger bunny, but still. Totes doors. <laughs> Mira is super cute. So Mira is, um, she, she has a sisterly personality. So she's just really generous and bubbly type of thing. All right, uh, what else was I going to do? I already got Doc's thing, which really sucks because I just got to get rid of somebody. In this, in this game, one thing that you can do um, that I personally don't really like is you can do time jumps. So if you set the switch time to whenever, then you can basically skip around particular events. So like if, if somebody is going to move out or you want them to move out or if you've got construction going on, whatever it happens to be. So like for me, I've got, um, uh, we've got the, um, what's it called? Oh, right, yeah, the, the goodbye is always super cute. They always do that. Um, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, so you can do time jumping to basically skip past anything you don't particularly want to see. Ooh, snapper. Nice. Um, but, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, we can go and take a look at Rev's terraforming. Rev, are you open? I won't go see you terraforming. After I do some more fishing. God, stupid hermit crab. Gah, son of a... Thought I had it. I'm really hoping that I can catch a coelacanth so that you guys can see. Um, hmm. They're not quite as rare as hen's teeth, but they're not common. I do a dance, uh, do my fishing dance, do my fishing dance, do my fishing dance. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, ah, that's not the fishing dance. I pushed a button and I didn't mean to. Uh, fish dance. Uh, uh. Oh yeah, I've got, I've got one in the museum as well. Although I am curious what other stuff you've got that I don't have, Rev. Come on. Come on. Yes! Please. Ah, stupid bass. See, this is what I was talking about. If you recall when I mentioned the bass. And the, the biggest issue with the bass is that they're really not worth much, like, They're only worth something like 400 bells, um, whereas the um, the coelacanth is worth 15,000. So it's like it's not even an argument when it comes down to which one would you rather have. Oh, there's a fin. Let's see if I can get a, a new shark here. Oh, I gotta hit up Harvey's Island. Ah, oh, shoot! See, I got distracted thinking about Harvey's Island. I missed it. I get distracted easily. Hi, Sarah. It's good with me. Alright, let's just check this little spot again. And then we'll head off to Rev's house. Alright. Heading to Rev's. So I mentioned before the uh, the online like system in this game is actually really really good. It's done very well.
Yes! Let's go to Necromunda. We'll go and visit Rev. Maybe we'll take part in an episode of Pandemic Chef. Ah, oh, dang, I forgot. I've got the, um, what's it called? I've got the director's chair, and I also have the, uh, the shaved ice maker. Which would be very ideal for the kitchen setup, maybe. I don't know. Get to go see Rev's house with all, all of his work with um, with the terraforming. So with the terraforming, you can you can make and break rivers and cliffs. Uh, you can make pads, all sorts of different stuff like that. Um, there there is a lot that you can do. Is it Powerade? It is not. It's just water, but it's in a green cup, so that's why it looks kind of funky. <laughs> and now it's gone. Woo, Pride! Oh, that's right, it's Pride Month, isn't it? Woo! I'm <laughs> mainlining dihydrogen monoxide. It, it's dihydrogen monoxide, sir, not dihydrogen oxide. I told you, that was the last of it. Mm. There's none there. It's all gone. I did what I could, Mithoin. Ah, it's Rev. Hello. So this is the fancy path. We got fancy flowers. Very, very nice. Very fancy. Very nice. I like the little trees. And then we have this nice little open town center. Very nice. Very nice. Very fancy. Go up here. We got the shops. Oh, very nice. Very nice shop. Very nice little museum. Oh, you got the gumball machine. I get gumball, delicious. Mm. I did not spill it all on myself. This is very fancy. Um, so over here we got the hazel. Over here we got the shop. Let's go look at the shop. So he's got the small shop too. And um, so tomorrow my um, my what's it called? Um, my thing, my um, Nook's Cranny is going to be expanding. Let's see. I will sell you sea bass and a red snapper. So sad. 400 bells for the stupid bass. So let's check turnip prices. 69 bells per turnip that is inappropriate. Let me see if you got any good seeds. Rose, tulip, rose, rose, tulip. Okay. I've got to do some of that stuff. Ooh, blue diner wall. I've got brown diner wall. Rubber tile flooring! That's perfect for my gym! Score! All right, Red, let's see what else we've got here. We got a very creepy looking raccoon statue. That's very exciting. We've got spooky house. I assume that this is Rev's house because it's got a spooky door plate. Got Bert. Look, everybody's stealing my money idea over here. Letting everybody know where the money is. Yeah, that's fine, I see how it is. <laughs> See, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to teach. So see, Rev has these fancy little hop-along things um, so that you don't need the, uh, the little pole to jump around, essentially. It's pretty cool. Rev has some super cool characters, too. I'm jealous. I'm, like, wicked jealous. See, there's Drago. Drago's totes dorms. Also, I know where Escape Artist's house is. Escape Artist's house is down here in the other corner. Let's see, we've got a bridge here. That's perfect. 
This is very nice. I really like the terraforming. It looks really cool. The little path. I love the flowers at the beginning. And the, the rock with the brick path right next to it. Or is that is that a decorative rock or is that a rock rock? Oh, so look, see, you got the, the random astronaut on the beach because, like, Florida, maybe, I guess? I don't know. Uh, Tiki Torch, very cool. Uh, this, is, this is Escape Artist's house. It's, it's a very humble abode. But it is very nice. The very nice humble abode is very nice. I approve. Ooh, a typewriter. Ah, look, it's Rev. Hello. <laughs> Doctor Who. <laughs> Let's look at the museum. I want to see what fishies Rev has. So one thing is that all of the museums are um, all designed the same way. Like they have the exact same layout and stuff. Um, naturally, but uh, but of course it, it's it's all based off of what uh, particular fish the the people who live on the island have caught, um, as opposed to you know, what you have, obviously. Oh, these are cool. Is that a piranha? Nice. Oh, cool. Arowana. I got one of those. I got an arowana um, the other day. Ooh, I can go beyond the, the set of Pandemic Shefuku. Dang! What? Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that this is where the sharks went. That is awesome. I know the coelacanth and the oarfish are over here. I wonder if anything else ever comes up over here. That is so cool, though. That's a really neat place for the sharks. Uh, so up on the top, you've got more of like the smaller saltwater stuff as well, um, in, including a, a reef setup, which I really, really love, um, particularly as somebody who has a fish tank. I really like how they do it. And can we also be pleased that they've got, like, emergency exits in the museum? Like, how often do you go into a game like this that has some setup of some sort, but, like, they, they, there's, like, no fire exits? It's just, like, such a random thing. Oh, you got rare stuff in the, in the reef? All right, let's go check. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I really, really want to fill out my fish and fossil collection. It's, that was always my favorite part of playing Animal Crossing on the GameCube. And it's still my favorite part now. I really love it. We, very nice, very nice. Ah, Hammerhead! Red Snapper, there, there's a Flounder. The Flounder looks so derpy. I love it. I honestly just adore how derpy it is. Seahorse. There's the hammerhead. Very cool. Remember the rule, kids. The first one always goes to Blathers. No matter what. Clownfish. Toadstorbs. So, surgeon fish, more commonly known as the dory fish or the hippo tang, if anybody's curious. Butterfly fish, also known as a fox face. And the ribbon eel. I think I got a ribbon eel as well. Very cool. Check out the fossils. Ooh, I want to see the fossils. Wait, why are we saying sorry to TH? What, what's happening right now? What's the rules? And I do, I do definitely have to go to the Seaside Cafe, Mithwin. I would be happy to. Oh man, it looks like you got this completely filled up. Oh, that's cool. Your little antechamber thing. You sell it all, Timmy Tommy Tony? What? What? 
Oh, okay, that, okay, yeah, that first one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The, I mean, it's the, the first one, you know? First one always goes to Blathers. It's the rules. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what you gotta do to appease the owl. Oh, and neat, you got more of these things filled out. Man, I want an Austral Australopith. Megaceratops. Megaloceros. One thing that I'm a little bit disappointed in is even after you complete these fossils, um, so like, see, the saber-toothed tiger, it's complete. Now, normally, if you if you have a part missing, then it'll essentially say, please donate, donate to our museum to improve everything. But even after you finish it, they still don't have the little blurbs when you read the signs. And it's kind of disappointing. Like, so see, please donate anything missing, right? But then for everything else, like, even if it is finished, it doesn't give you the full story. And so it kind of sucks. I really wish it would do that because it does it with the art. It doesn't do it with the fish or the, the bugs, but doing it with the fossils in particular would be really, really cool. Or at the very least have some mechanism where you can go and hear what Blathers talks about um, with a particular thing. It would be really neat. But I, I mean, it's... It's a relatively small gripe, and um, and actually on my um, on my Discord, I've got a, a channel dedicated to basically talking with Blathers and getting all of the info about all that stuff. So I'm I'm okay with it because <laughs> we could just go in and just do a, a quick command to get all the info we want. But see, look at this. This is gorgeous. Like this is legit awesome. I really really like it. I think it's beautiful, and I'm honestly jealous. How did you get this? Like, what, 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 what? I wanted a fancy workbench instead of a stupid little stump. And look, you got the fancy little thing. You got the cuckoo clock. I have a cuckoo clock, but it's in my room. What is this? Let's see what room this is. Ooh, this is like the sauna room. This is very Norwegian. Slash also not. I assume that these are fake art pieces and that's why they're in here. Because <laughs> otherwise, why would they be in here, please? I hope. Right? This is so pretty. It's just so nice. They, they are fakes. Okay. I, f I figured that you wouldn't have like another copy of the Mona Lisa just hanging out. Oh, and look, you got the little cat toy. That is so cute. And the rattan bed. You got the laundry thing. I, I think I had the laundry thing at one point um, in my shop, but I didn't pick it up. Very nicely decorated room there. What we have over here. See, this is why you've got the S, I assume, because you have like actual well-themed rooms. Oh, you got the little throwback wrestler dude in your in your music room. That's awesome. And of course your turnips, because turnips need some place to go. Turnips are kind of a weird thing because, um, like I said, it's part of the stock market. The problem is that you can't store them in your house storage. You have to put them on the floor. That's the only place where they're where where they'll go. So it's kind of weird. And this is the, the set of Pandemic Shefaku. Ooh, we're making smoothies. We're fancy. And you got the stove. Oop, I shut it off. We need to continue making yakitori. I'll make an espresso and some rice. Yum. <laughs> this is so cool. This is really, really well done. You got some awesome pieces. Ah, oh, see, you got a cutting board. I don't have a cutting board. I really want a cutting board because I've got the um, I've got a lot of the ironwood stuff, but it requires um, it requires cutting boards to make. So like, see, like this one, like the the dresser with the sink. I need a cutting board for it, but I don't have cutting boards. It's so sad. So very sad.
Yeah, you guys made burritos. <laughs> I do remember that I, I gave this uh, this little steamer basket for um, for any um, like any sort of dim sum or what have you that might be desirable. Grind your coffee. This is so awesome. I know I've got a mixer as well. But yeah, like I've got some of these um, these recipes for um, for like the, the ironwood stuff. And thankfully, a lot of it I can make, but most of it I can't. Because like I don't have a cutting board. And it's just like, the fudge. It is ver sad. Ver ver sad. And I like the little menu board too. I also do love the um, the the chocolate wallpaper thing. Very very cool. Very classy. I approve. No basement. Why is there no basement? Rev, how are you gonna have no basement in a house like this? Where are you going to put all of your science? And a pinball machine. You have such cool stuff. From community <laughs> there, I got the last little drop of water. But that's all that's left, I swear. That is the museum. I'm lost. I don't know where I'm going. Here we go. I love the little chef's hat, by the way. The the paper chef hat. Ah! <gasps> A cutting board! <gasps> Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Hooray! So in, in this game, one of the things that you can do, especially with, uh, with... Oh, I can keep them! Yay! Thank you! Um, so one thing you can do is with uh, furniture especially, you can, um, you can catalog it. And once something is cataloged, then you're able to order it um, over and over and over. So you only need it once. And so a lot of people um, will organize cataloging parties. So they, they'll they basically just like invite a whole bunch of people over and say like, you know, catalog all the different stuff. Yay! Um, and, and then people will have it available to order as they need. Um, now, as far as the cutting board is concerned, I don't know if it's a DIY or if it's something that you can um, you can order, because some of the stuff that um, that you have with the uh, what's it called the um, um, once you catalog something, then you do have it on your list. Um, but if it's a if it's a crafted thing, then you can't order it. You you can only craft them. So yeah, it's unfortunate, but you know whatever. But hooray! That's fun. That is very fun. It is a DIY? Okay. All right, Rev. Well, I'm going to head out. Thank you so much for inviting me to your island. Yay! Island. Hooray! Fun times. You get all sorts of cool reactions. Like... Man, I only have, like, negative stuff over here. I love that encouragement is basically you shouting at somebody in the face. <laughs> Just like, Aah! Oh, that's right. I got to go to the tailor. Got to check out the Able Sisters, see what they got. Oh, whoop, it's over here. All right, bye, escape artist. Have fun. I need to see where the Able Sister is. It's across the river here. Aw, there's no new house. Yeah, I really need to uh, focus more on theming all of my stuff to to make sure that it it works well, essentially, and that I've I've got like uh, some good stuff. <gasps> you got a lucha libre mask? What? Oh my god! I need the lucha libre mask. A groovy shirt? You know that I need me some groovy shirt and a Lucha Libre mask. That's a lot of jockey uniforms. I like that they've got different patterns on it, not just different colors. Um, a lot of times that's what you see with the um, 
uh, with this stuff is that you'll you'll see the exact same thing but just in a different color. Yes, I got my lucha libre mask. And you got cool socks. They go well with my oh comfy sandals. That's perfect. It goes well with my beach gear. Yes! I am El Pollo Loco. Fear me. I have not met Penelope, no. Penelope is new mouse, if I'm not mistaken, correct? So you guys may have noticed that there was like a whole bunch of different colors and patterns and everything like that. You have to buy those each individually. It's not like you buy the thing once and you unlock all of the colors and everything for it. You do literally have to go and buy every single one. So it kind of sucks in that context. Look, it's another Gojira-sama. Ozzy. Ozzy is super cute. Ozzy is a, um, a koala. Wart Jr. That's a frog. That's the froggy that I just saw. Midge. I think Midge is a bird, if memory serves. Sprinkle. Sprinkle I don't know offhand. Bring the other houses here. There's two down there. There's one over there. Okay. What's wrong with looking like a three-year-old dressed you? There ain't nothing wrong with that. Being a Lucha Libre mask. Basically the coolest thing ever. I mean, if y'all want to be jealous, that's fine. But I can't be held responsible. Diva. I think Diva's a mouse. This has to be Penelope, right? Yes! Jeez! Talk about your nine degrees of freedom. I was just looking at the mini map. I didn't need the big one. Hi, Penelope! Shopping buddies? Pond raised tropical fish. That is dangerous. That is very dangerous. I like the music though. Her boombox is pretty adorable. Does the big map tell you the, the people's homes too? Oh, it does. Nice. I didn't realize that. See, you learn something new every day. And then you can go find all the different stuff. These are easier to find because they have a distinct um, marker. At least. Okay, time for me to head back to, to my island now. Bye, Rev! Wait. Bye! I go adios! She is pretty super cute. I, I, uh, I need Doc, though. Doc is my spirit animal. I desperately need Doc to be there. I'm just saying. Really, the throw zone for the ring toss is that far? It seems pretty far. I mean, I'm not super familiar with ring toss, obviously, but that just, it seems like it's a ways away. Sorry, I'm just checking on something real quick. I've got a, a bunch of um, stock notifications, not like S-T-O-C-K, like, like buying and selling stock, but like in stock like actual, you know, stuff being there or not for um, some fitness companies. So I'm, I was just checking to see if they had anything that I needed. But yeah. Or <laughs> Poncho has a big advantage. Oh, what else was I going to do? I, I can't remember. 
Well, I'll, I'll do just a, a quick little bit of fishing, and then I've got to go because I'm like way over time because this game is way too adorable, and I can't stop playing it. And if I don't actually stop myself from playing, then I will never stop playing it because it is just way too cute. And it's it's one of these interesting things where um, it's a game. That's why I always say it's like Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, um, all of these types of things. Um, yes, they've got stuff. They have things for you to do, but in the end, you're really just making your own goals. Like, the, the game is whatever you want it to be, honestly. If you just want to use this game as, like, a simple, cheesy little fishing sim, then you can do it. If you just want to catch bugs all day, have at it. There ain't nothing stopping you. Um, but if you want to be, you know, the completionist and try to get the museum going and... Um, all that kind of stuff, then you can do that as well. If you want to have it such that you, um, ah, where should I put my lighthouse? I don't want to put it there because I can put other stuff there, um, like, uh, more flowers and things. You can't plant flowers on the, uh, rock, though. So I'll probably end up putting my lighthouse on one of the rocks. Alright. Oh, this is my cow. This is Naomi. She's pretty cute. I got her randomly on an island. Um, one of the things you can do is you can visit random nook islands. Um, they only exist for as long as you're there, but um, they, they're essentially leveraged to get new people as well as collect resources and a, a few other little things like that, essentially. Um, and I, I found her on one of those. Essentially, if you have space for a new character, then every time you go to one of those islands, um, a, a person will be there, one of the characters will be there. Okay, hang on. Gah, stupid bass! <sighs> You're getting meringue? That is awesome! Meringue is super cute. I know she's another very popular one. Ooh, that's an eel, I think. It looks very eel-like. Doesn't look like she has the... Or this, this thing has the solid body of the regular fish. I just don't want to scare it off. Basically, if the fish becomes interested in your bait and you reel it in, then they run off. Let's see if it's a ribbon. It is, it's a ribbon. So I got one of those already. When I say I have one or when I, I got one, it means I've got one in my museum. So I don't need to worry about donating it, I can just sell it. I don't know how much the ribbon eel is worth though. Um, like I said, I've got my giant fish collection um, saving up for um, CJ is the character who buys them. Really? Stupid flounder? Look at how derpy this mofo looks. Look at how derpy it is. It's weird though because that's exactly what a flounder looks like. It was going to say a C minus bass. That's just depressing. But yeah, flounder are like super goofy looking fish. If you guys have ever seen Finding Nemo, there is a flounder in the uh, one of the opening scenes. Um, they, they mess with the guy, and then he's the one who's, like, swimming around. He's like, oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? That's a flounder. Because they sit at the bottom of the, of the seabed, and so both of their eyes are on the top of their head. And so that's why when you look at them, they look really strange, because their eyes are right next to each other, but it's because they're bottom feeders. And they, they literally silt themselves into the sand, waiting for things to come by so that they can eat them. But yeah, it's just really, really strange. These things are goofy. Yes, Little Mermaid did lie to you about flounders. That is what we're saying. Come on. I just noticed it has a fin. Hopefully it's a good one. Yeah, boy! 
got it a shark. <gasps> it's Bones! Hi, Bones! Look at him with his little hat. He's so cute. Look how cute he is. I love bones. Okay, all right. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna donate the hammerhead shark, and then I will have to head out. I know I'm sad too. I don't want to leave, but I I still have to eat you guys, and I'm like way over time. <laughs> but I got a shark. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'll sell my stuff, and then I'm gone. Like for realsies. Yes. Please tell me. Fun fact. Duh. You can check yourself for untied shoelaces and imminent rain. That is so cool. I didn't think I would have enough stuff for a stream. Well, I mean, this is essentially just, you know, meandering about, basically. There's, and I... Frankly, I just don't know how interesting it is for you guys to watch it. So that's why I always worry about it. I know I said I was just going to sell stuff, but that was before I saw this fish silhouette. Oh, that's probably a bass or a flounder. Oh, snapper. I'll take it. Whatever. Ain't nothing wrong with kale. Yes, I will be having kale. I will like it. It will be delicious. And y'all can just... That's what I say. I'm looking for the biggest silhouettes because that's what the coelacanths are. Okay. Well, we tried. We tried. And unfortunately, I, I really don't have time left. I, I really do have to go. I have to eat and all of that stuff. It really sucks though because tomorrow the uh, Nook's Cranny, for me at least, is going to be closed uh, because they're going to be renovating to the bigger store. So, yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, actually, I am curious how much specifically the, um, the, um, the ribbon eel sells for. Because I don't know how rare or common or whatever it is. That said, rarity does not always indicate price. 600 bells? Well, Dang it, Rev. That's your fault for not planning ahead. In the words of the Dodo Birds, if you didn't have the, the forethought to plan ahead, then doom on you. Doom on you. Okay, all right, that's it. So um, I was going to say something else, and now I don't remember. Oh, right, giant water bugs. I hate giant water bugs. I will explain it later on if anybody is curious. The thing is they are super common, especially if you're um, trying to deliberately catch specific types of insects. Um, there's a way that you can basically gain the, um, or you can sort of game the um, RNG system in order to get more valuable bugs to show up. Um, and sometimes uh, water bugs will show up. They're really difficult to see and it's frustrating because you can't chase them away. You have to catch them. But they're worth 2,000 bells a piece. So they end up being very common, but it's not bad to catch them because they, they're, they're actually worth a decent amount of money, especially if you sell them to Flick, who buys them at 1.5x. But with that, I have to go because I am very hungry and I need to eat and you guys all have to go eat as well. But I will be back on Saturday for more awesome fun streaming of, um, I'm gonna be doing a uh, Fallen Order um, with that. The, I'll continue on the Jedi journey on that one. But you guys all take care of yourselves, have fun, be safe, be well, and I will hopefully see you on Saturday.